uh, it absolutely remains a priority. Um, in fact, probably, as you said, still one of the top uh, priorities in, uh, for the Space Force and for the nation. This is the latest step in, and by no means are we close to done. There's still much more work to do. A Collier County Sheriff's deputy noticing something special in the sky, and it got recorded. Corporal Nicole Medenwald was done with the traffic stop, repositioned herself on North 15th Street to watch for vehicles and watch what happens. Look at that. She saw that green light light up the sky, which she says reminded her of lightning. She went back to look at the video from the dash cam, and yeah, it was there. It was a meteor. The deputy says she's seen meteors before, but never one quite like that that lights up the sky. Imagine what that would have looked like from the ground. An asteroid will hit Earth again someday, so this week's NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office, yes, there is such a thing, will conduct a tabletop exercise of how they will handle an approaching asteroid. Today, an asteroid will be, quote unquote, discovered with a potential October impact. Each day this week, additional information will be determined and decisions made. It will be a true simulation of a real-time potential asteroid impact scenario, Rhonda. This is crazy. <laughs> this high likelihood of an asteroid hitting Earth. I mean, can we pull an Armageddon and save ourselves? Well, we are actually going to find out soon because later this year, NASA is going to launch a project called DART, which stands for Double Asteroid Redirection Test. And that's going to impact the asteroid Dimorphos in the fall of 2022. And that's with the intention of changing its orbit in space. And let's hope it works because that would be our one chance to save ourselves if one of those things is coming toward us. Hey guys, Pedro V here. Quick little video, I wanted to talk about this real quick. A hypothetical asteroid devastates Europe in a doomsday NASA simulation. Now a group of experts from US and European space agencies attended a week-long exercise led by NASA in which they faced this scenario, an asteroid approaching Earth and could hit within six months. And in this alternate reality, the asteroid crashed into Eastern Europe. But as far as we know, nobody knows if there is a real threat to Earth in this way. But we will always be open-minded and shine some light on these things because the deception lies deep within NASA as well. And what they portray as truth, if there was an actual threat, the chances of it being public is not likely due to the causing of wide panic and chaos. God, you sound like a crazy person. The governor just said we're fine now. The guy's an actor. He's reading a script. When they tell you not to panic, that's when you run! It seems to me that the worst is over. So I just wanted to quickly touch on that. You let me know what you think. And with that all being said, have faith, remain vigilant, and God bless you all. The Russian town Chelyabinsk faced a terrible incident. All they could do was run when they heard a thunder. This could happen to the earth of every town. Top story today remains last week's discovery of an asteroid as big as a city block that is heading for Earth. And, according to initial predictions, is forecast to hit somewhere between Tokyo and Copenhagen just 24 days from now. Simulations indicate the impact will provide enough energy to destroy a city. See, we're in the headlines. I've given up on the news. The modeling's bad enough. Even 10 kilometers from the impact, heat will ignite clothing and cause third degree burn. It's at least 200 meters across. Big enough to give Tokyo, Solo, Minsk a really bad day. Is it as big as the one in Chelyabinsk back in 2013? No, 10 times bigger. That makes it five times as large as that one that hit the moon in 2022. The UN again today to determine if an evacuation should be... They are planning to move millions of people. That's never been done. I don't know if it can be. 
Data's in. The next data dump from the Flyite network has arrived. It's essential we get the correct impact time. I'm working on it. The Flyers are proving their worth today. In 2019, ESA began building a network of Flyite telescopes to detect and follow asteroids. Without this, Europe wouldn't have the necessary data to react wisely to any future forecast impact like this one. It's looking, it's looking as if the trajectory is... Yes. The impact corridor is narrowed and confirmed. It's going to hit in the South Pacific. So no evacuations needed. ESA is taking action to help keep Europe safe and resilient from hazards like space weather, earth grazing asteroids and risky space debris. Now is the time for decisions.